guys ready for the next step here we're going to do some foot controls today so what you're looking at is the shift pedal arm made by cross thread cycles this is in the tangerine color and this is the brake pedal arm also by cross threads really nice solid i have the arlen ness knurled um, a peg here as the brake pad and I did that to match the grips and uh, you know just to add some contrast here with the orange um, on the shifter here I've actually got this really cool little piece from Speed King Cycle if you guys can see that but it's billet and it's got grip on this side I got the 2.5 inch version so it's a little longer than the other one but I think it looks really nice. I like the idea that it's got a little grip on top. Let's see if I can show you that in the light. But yeah, so we're going to put this on the bike and show you how it's done. Okay, we'll do the brake side first as it's a little more involved, but it's not that bad. What you have here. You have a 3 16 Allen right here. I've already cracked it, so you'll loosen that here. That will take off the brake pedal lever here that the arm is attached to. And then you also have this right here. It's a T27, and then this whole piece will come off. So we'll get that off. Bolt to the side. And there you have it all in one piece here so pretty simple we want to keep this we're going to take this side off and attach it to the back of the new brake pedal okay it turns out this is a uh, also a 3 16 so we're going to take that off and just remember the orientation that goes in that way this is the old one. You can compare it to this one. And we're going to put it back together. Okay, so a few things. When you get this from cross thread, the backing piece is not installed. So what you want to do is line up this curve with here use a little blue loctite put the two bolts in there first and then this is going to slide over here with that arm that we moved before okay so this is the brake arm that's, contract that's connected to the brake lever um, we're going to use that same bolt, put a little block, blue Loctite on, and install it on this hole in the rear, and that should get this all together. And then what we'll do, put a little anti-seize on here, and just slide this guy right over the top. A little dab I 
as I always just torque it down to what the manual says. Okay, so this part is on. We'll put our little dab of NICs here. Slide the lever back under the way it was routed. Slide that guy right over the top. So what we do first is reinstall this bolt down here. And I used a longer 316 so I don't try not to scratch the um the paint. Alright, so that's on, and then we're just going to reinstall this guy right here. And again, this is the T27. And there you have it. Brake side is done. This is also has three levels of adjustment um, to bring the pedal closer to you. I chose the farthest one, mimicked the existing one. If I can line that up right. All right, one side done. Looks good. Studio side. Okay, shift lever side. It's a little easier. You have two half inch bolt and um, a nut here. Just be careful when you loosen it up if you're using um, one of these because this is very close to scratching this. But I've loosened it enough. I've also, you probably can't see that also marked where this line is here just in case there's any alignment issue when I swap them out so what I was saying was this little line here allows me to line up the new one I've loosened it enough hopefully enough to pull it off maybe maybe not
Okay, I got that off. There's a little rubber spacer here. You don't want to lose that. And then I'm just going to line up this notch right here with the mark that I made earlier. about right again blue Loctite recommended And then all you got to do is tighten that bad boy up. And um, so we'll tighten that up. And then we'll take it out and see if we need to make any adjustments here or here as well. This also has three spots to bring the shift lever closer to your foot if necessary. And you can also uh, move this around and tighten it where you want it first. So if you want it more at an angle or more flat at the top of the bar, you have those options there. So we'll tighten this up and take it for a test drive. All right, guys, wanted to take the bike outside just to kind of show you in the sunlight how these things are looking. There's the shift lever with the Arlen Ness knurled um, brake pad. I'm sorry, brake pedal, that's what I'm using it for. I've got the matching grips up here and the levers also by cross threads so definitely a good combo the color looks great if we can get around to this side here you'll see the brake pad side uh, with the LA choppers um, shifter again it's a 2.5 version it's a little bit longer so I want to say it's about a half inch longer than the standard one which would come to like here and uh, yeah, other than that, looks great. Looks even better in the sunlight. Anyway, uh, we'll cut it off there. This was just a quick little foot control one. Uh, easy to do if you got the basic hand tools. Uh, I do want to say Happy New Year to everybody and appreciate all the support. And you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. So... Um, trying to do better, trying to do more, so look out for good things to come in 2023. Best of luck to you guys. Catch you next time.